All right, it's all about Barry Manilow tonight. We're oh, so excited yes. about this. Yeah, you guys are going to bust out and go to the show, aren't you? I'd love yeah. to. <laughs> it would be fun. Yeah. The Copa. Coca-Cola. You might and hear so that begins. one in yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I like to work song references in. So mm -hmm. the game here will be try to try to count up how many you can come up with during this forecast. We're ready. Okay. All, right. All right, let's get my pen. All right, get the pen ready. All right. <laughs> uh, one thing you should enjoy right now is the calmness of the situation around here in the Twin Cities. You can see that the wind is from the northwest about nine miles per hour. But take a look to western Minnesota and in the Dakotas where it's blowing. These are average wind speeds, by the way. They're catching gusts well up in the 30s. In fact, there is a wind advisory in southwestern Minnesota. This will be a big part of our night tonight as well as our day tomorrow. Some kind of friend I've turned out to be, giving you these crummy forecasts the past several days. Our temperatures have been below average for four consecutive days now. Even now, it's 41 degrees in the Twin Cities. 53 is average, by the way, and we're just trying to get that feeling again. Throw up the satellite and radar data. I can't zoom in enough to show you any ships off the East Coast, but you can clearly see the uh, New York City rhythm is a bit soggy. They've had some rain showers, and that's what we're dealing with right now across a, a good chunk of the state. It is cold enough for snow showers up to the north, but you can see most of us are pinned under the clouds. Oh, Mr. Sun, we can't smile without you. Hang in there. We should see some sunshine as soon as tomorrow. It'll be a part of your weekend as well. But for now, we've got the rain and nothing severe out there. Just some steady showers that will be with us for the next couple of hours. So if you have big plans this evening, definitely throw your umbrella in the car. All right, Fanalos, tonight is your night. He's 72 years old. 72. This is his swan song, too, at the XL Energy Center. While Barry sings, I write the songs and all of his other hits. You'll notice the temperature only dropping a few degrees, but that wind will really pick up from the northwest, blowing about 10 to 15 miles per hour by the time most folks are heading home. Somewhere in the night, there will be rain showers. In fact, there could be some snow showers again. I think most of that will be falling across parts of western Wisconsin. It will continue to push toward the east. By daybreak, you'll be able to say, I made it through the rain and the snow. In fact, as the day wears on tomorrow, we'll notice a clearing trend from west to east. We'll see more and more sunshine, but it's not going to be a very pleasant day. Only warming to about 37 in the Twin Cities. That's more typical for the first week of March, not the first week of April. And the main problem is going to be the wind. It will be strong enough in the morning to make it feel like the teens. You can see the wind will be strong all day coming from the northwest, grabbing that cold Canadian air. And for starters, it will feel more like a a weekend in New England, only warming to about 43 on Saturday. At least we'll have the sunshine. And as far as yard work, if you're ready to take a chance again and get at it, Sunday is your day. It's a miracle. We warm to the 50s. How about it? People will be doing the bandstand boogie. It doesn't last for long. I'll show you. Let's go on the spot. No, this isn't for Mandy. This is for Dan and for his cat Clarkson. Now, Dan's turning 30 today. Clarkson will turn one on Sunday. All right, here's the breakdown into the weekend. You can see the temperatures. They warm up to 53 on Sunday, as I showed you. If you're going to the Twins home opener, by the way, it will be breezy. Northwest wind 10 to 20 miles per hour, only 43. But by Wednesday, could it be magic? We're in the 50s. Looks like we made it to average again. In fact, the upper 50s by Thursday. And uh, as we head toward next weekend, it's a good shot of warming to the 60s. That's that's as warm as a Copacabana, Amelia. That's how warm okay. it will be. So we're, we're not going to tell you what we that. thought, but no, we, is, it will be breezy. Is that a song? It and, will be breezy. Is and Kat Clarkson, is that a song? <laughs> Also, oh. car in my umbrella, she was wondering. That is not a okay. song title either. Yeah, cross we're those off. We're we doing really we good. have some right here. Just don't worry, everything's under control. And if, if right. people out there want to guess, too, <laughs> go to our Facebook page, and then we'll reveal it later. Cat Clarkson. Cat yes. Clarkson. Such I a big song for Barry. It was a big hit. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Chris. Yes. Good work.